No matter which field of science you are interested in, be it astronomy, archaeology, or even biology, there is no doubt that now is an exciting time to be alive. Discoveries are constantly being made that turn the scientific world and everything that we thought we knew on its head. It seems that every week we learn something new and exciting that forces us to reframe the world as we knew it, as well as the possibilities that lie before us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving into three incredible recent discoveries from different scientific fields and what they mean for our understanding of the world around us. Artifacts Emerging from Melting Glaciers The rapid melting glaciers across the world due to warming temperatures is not new information and is undoubtedly a point of concern for the future of our planet. However, there is one bright spot amidst the gloom, and that is the fact that the melting glaciers are providing a valuable opportunity for archaeologists to learn about the past. As the glaciers recede, the melting ice is uncovering secrets that they have kept for thousands of years in the form of historical artifacts and fossils that remained hidden below the permanent ice. In fact, so many of these artifacts have been found that an entire field of research dubbed glacier archaeology has emerged. The rapid melting of the glaciers has produced unbelievable opportunities for learning about and understanding the lives of the historic people that lived centuries before us, opportunities which likely would not have availed themselves otherwise. In one such instance, the retreating levels of an alpine glacier, the Bruniferm Glacier in the eastern Swiss Alps, has revealed evidence of an ancient climb by hunters and gatherers in the Mesolithic era almost 10,000 years ago. It seems that the people were risking the treacherous climb to reach a vein in the mountains filled with crystals and other precious rocks that they used to fashion sharp tools used in their daily lives and hunts. This is an important discovery because archaeologists have long believed that prehistoric people tended to make their homes away from menacing mountain ranges like the Alps due to the lack of artifacts present on the slopes. However, the melting glaciers have proven that the artifacts have been plentifully there all along just buried under several feet of glacial ice. Studies of these artifacts have led historians and archaeologists to conclude that prehistoric humans were much more active in the mountains than previously believed. Many researchers theorize that they were likely hiking these treacherous distances to reach fertile but distant valleys, hunt or even use the land as pasture land as they became more sedentary. As evidenced by the artifacts found indicating that a group of humans had hiked over 3,000 meters high into the mountains to search for crystals, we know that they were also willing to risk the danger in order to search for the plentiful raw materials that the mountains could provide. The first finding that disproved the theory that early humans stayed away from the mountains was the discovery of a well-preserved body of a 5,300-year-old warrior in an alpine glacier. And although researchers initially believed that he may have been the exception and not the rule, a subsequent boon of artifacts has laid that line of reasoning to rest. Among the finds scattered throughout the retreating glaciers of the Alps has been a birch bark quiver, leather trousers and shoes, string and hundreds of other tools made from organic materials that have been preserved in the ice. However, there is a short window of time to find these artifacts once the ice retreats, as the organic materials dating back thousands of years will rapidly deteriorate when removed from the ice and exposed to the elements. Although the shrinking glaciers due to rising temperatures is undoubtedly a matter of grave concern, anthropologists and archaeologists are jumping at this rare opportunity to learn more about those humans that came before us. Saturn's rings reveal slushy core one word that is rarely used to describe objects in the Milky Way is slushy. But that is exactly the word scientists are using to describe Saturn's core following a study of its rings. The recently conducted study attempted to provide a description of the massive ringed planet's core, which they were surprised to discover takes up an astonishing 60% of the planet. Researchers involved with the study used the subtle, barely noticeable waves in the rings surrounding Saturn to reveal what lies below the outer layer of the planet. And what they discovered was that it seems to be made up of a slushy blend of ice, rock and gas, blurring at the edges and taking up most of the interior of the planet. 
This size and composition were complete surprises to the authors of the study, which was published in the Nature Astronomy Journal. Chris Mankovich, one of the authors, described the discovery as huge. It's definitely not something we expected to find. Indeed, it seems that this surprising revelation may change everything for how scientists view the enormous planet, which has long been closely studied for its unique characteristics and its oddly uniform magnetic field. So if you cannot drill an enormous hole through the outer layer of the crust, how exactly did scientists know what lay at the core of Saturn? It turns out that they carefully studied the interesting rings of the planet, which are made up of ice and rock bound in space by the previously mentioned uniform magnetic field emitted by Saturn. Although largely constant, the rings do exhibit barely perceptible ripples that give away what is going on inside the core. Previously, scientists believed that the core was a hugely compact mass of solid materials such as rock and iron, but the new study shows that it is instead a slushy mass that is sloshing and pulsing with the amount of mass equal to 17 Earths, and this is what is complicating matters for scientists. With such a surprising jumble of materials instead of a solid core, the scientists and astronomers interested in the formation of Saturn now must figure out how Saturn managed to grow out of the collection and how it manages to emit such a strange magnetic field, of which there is no ready explanation. Mankovich spoke on the complexity of the matter, saying that a can of worms with Saturn is explaining the observations with Saturn's magnetic field, which is a fairly bizarre magnetic field for many reasons. This is a non-standard picture for the interior structure of the planet. And although many questions were generated by this study, the findings were more than two decades and billions of dollars worth of research in the making, so it is unlikely that definitive answers will be forthcoming anytime soon. For now, scientists must simply continue to study and learn from the vast expanse of space that stretches almost incomprehensibly beyond us. Mutant Daddy Shortlegs Created in a Lab Harvestmen are a type of common arachnid in the order of Apillions, known for their strange, flexible legs that are vastly disproportionate to their bodies and are better known by their household name, Daddy Longlegs. However, that name is a misnomer for the new model, so to speak, of the Daddy Longlegs that scientists have recently created in a lab. The researchers mapped the entire genome of the largest species of Daddy Longlegs, Phalangium opilio, and were able to isolate the very genes that caused the elongated legs which make the spiders so distinctive. They were then able to suppress those genes in the embryos of developing daddy long legs, resulting in creatures which are now better termed to the nickname daddy short legs, as they were missing the extended appendages which the species is so well known for. And while it may seem that these strange experiments might just be all for fun and games, the lead author of the study of the experiments, Guillaume Genet, said in an interview with Live Science that our purpose was not just to shorten their legs just for the sake of it. We wanted to understand more about how these fascinating creatures evolved their alien way of locomotion and body plan. It turns out that daddy long legs have very strange walking patterns when compared with true spiders, as they only use three pairs for actually walking and treat the longest pair as feelers, which they wave around to find their way and turning off these long legs genes results in an entire shape change for three of their pairs of legs. When the hox genes are down-regulated, these leg appendages transform into short food-manipulating appendages called pedipalps, explained Genet. Pedipalps have fewer leg segments and special flexible joints, which is quite a change from the legs that daddy long legs are so well known for. Interestingly, the fourth pair of feeler legs remained, resulting in strange-looking specimens that only lived for a short time, meaning that the so-called daddy short legs could not be a viable species. The gene patterns and expressions displayed in the daddy long legs are able to be better understood as a result of these experiments, and analyzing the linkages between the genes can help to create an evolutionary map of sorts for this incredible species, which has been around an astonishingly 400 million years. Looking at the possible cause of evolution can provide a small glimpse into far distant history, and it is the hope that future studies can be conducted with other species that can help describe how certain unique features came to be.
But what do you make of these latest discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.